I, I've, we've seen too many relationships in other counties that are centered and are, and, and are destroyed based on who's chairman and it's become some kind of contest you know power and it really it hasn't been that way here really it's just a uh, though I have to sign more things um, and, and you run the meetings and we do have different styles of doing things but you know more than likely I'll be running it the first two years and Dennis won first last time I'm going first That's this right. time yeah. uh, and you know and we figured too it makes sense so we don't you know don't have to change two more times because when we change you got to change the letterhead you know there's little things that go into that so uh, but you know it, it, with the board and the relationships we have it hasn't been an issue whatsoever yeah you know, our first priority will always be our budget um, you know we have made a lot over the last four years of how efficient and effective we can make county government um, that's obviously a, a mission that we want to continue um, it's, it's not always easy uh, but I can tell you that the uh, the silver lining is there there is opportunities out there there are departments and items that we haven't gotten to yet it's just we have such a large entity but uh, we're really looking to work with the Court of Common Pleas, uh, District Attorney's Office, Public Defender, Clerk of Courts, you know, coming up uh, in our next round of uh, efficiency evaluations. So, but, you know, it's not something that, okay, once we hit all of them, it's done. You know, just like businesses out there have to, you know, maybe look at their product line and how they do things in order to control costs, we're really the same way. You know, yes, we're providing services, um, but there's always a better way to do it, technologies to take advantage of. Uh, and those are the kind of things that we're looking forward to. So we like to think that that's, this is going to be an, an ongoing process. And, and it's really necessary in this environment when, you know, property tax revenues have basically been stagnant, if not slightly declining. And as long as that's the trend until the real estate market improves, we're given a certain allotment of money from from the property taxpayers of this county that's our only source of revenue we get uh, we look at it as hey that's the money they give us and that's what we have to work within I mean from a budget perspective you know we obviously here will will get thrown into high gear again once the governor proposes his budget you know half of what we do are state mandated and state and federal funded human services so we're going to be making sure that you know uh, we work cooperatively with them to find a way to how we can stretch our dollars to serve more people uh, but at the same time make sure that there's no, nothing that happens up in Harrisburg that causes more of those funds to be pushed down on the county property taxpayers, and that's that's a battle that we've had to fight every year that I that you know since I've been with the county for over 16 years now, so that's something we're always being be mindful of but you know we have a lot of other challenges besides a budget you know we're gonna be working on dealing with prison population and overcrowding issues um, we're going to uh, obviously uh, from an outside be involved with things going on with the Chesapeake Bay um, so there's no shortage of issues while we're here uh, but you know working cooperatively together uh, I you know like I said in our public meeting today we have a great team of people around us and uh, I, I fully trust that when we're sharing a lot of these ideas that these these are things that, that, that we can possibly look into and implement and, and keep doing the job we've been doing.